That video is off the racks. Yeah, <laughs> you know what? Man, we doing it tonight on the Midnight Hour Radio Show. We yeah, got a, we got another treat for y'all on the Midnight Hour Radio Show. Hattie Winston from Becker and from the Electric Company. Hattie, what's going on? Hey. What it look like now? Welcome Hattie. to the Midnight Midnight Hour Radio Show. Hattie oh, and you. Patty. Thank you. How are you? I am just divine. Is that right? Uh-huh. You, you done have such a long career <laughs> in acting Broadway, the Electric PBS company on PBS, yep. then Ted Danson mm-hmm. on Becker. You just you just been doing it up. Well, you know, you got to keep busy. You know, it's like <clears throat> you got to keep moving. You never know who's trying to catch up with you. <laughs> right, right. And then you was an NBC star, so they like to get paid on NBC. Hello. <laughs> so can't nobody be playing with you, girl. Hello. <laughs> yeah, so how's everything going with you? Everything is really going well. You know, um, uh, we just found out. I've been doing a um, a recurring role on The Soul Man with, with Cedric the Entertainer and, and Niecy Nash. And uh, the show's just been picked up for the third season, so I am very excited about that. So I'll get to play again with uh, Cedric and Nisi and all the wonderful cast over there on TV Land. So that I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. Well, we feel honored to have you on the on the line on the Midnight Hour Radio Show. It's funny, we just had Erica Hubbard on. Now we oh got Hattie God. Winston. I know, right? Not more than seven minutes ago, it was oh Erica my Hubbard. God. I love Erica. Ah, we, we, <laughs> we won up you, didn't we? And then before that, it was the Super Nanny. Oh, stop. Uh uh-uh, uh, right. Deborah yeah. Tillman. Do we look like we planned? No, you, look, you are not. <laughs> <laughs> I said, do I look like we planned? We got, and we got you on here. Do hey. we look like we trying to not have fun? See. We, I'm going to wait to the midnight hour. Oh, kick it, girl. Hey. Oh, look at you. Look at now. Don't stop till you get enough. All right, all right, all right. Okay, all right. I'm sorry. Don't See, that's one of the you actresses that can actually sing, too. Yeah, she's a singer that can actually act. Right. Yeah, Myron. Yeah, well, you know, I've been very fortunate because uh, I've been able to combine all my loves. You know, I get to act and I get to sing and I did... Uh, uh, musicals on Broadway. I've right. recently done my nightclub act out here in L.A. So, um, hey, I'm just having a good old time. Right. That's what you're supposed to do, though. <laughs> so tell That's us, Hattie, how did your career get started on the electric company? Well, um, actually, I replaced. There was an incredible actress uh, by the name of Lee Chamberlain. She what? Had, you remember Lee? Yeah. Yes. So, <laughs> Lee, I have to give the props where props are due. And so uh, Lee was uh, doing the show, and then her film career uh, started happening, and they called and asked me if I would be interested in coming in. And I said, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know, that's right. <laughs> and so that's really how I, I was doing a show on Broadway at the time. So I was able to uh, maneuver the two, and it was an incredible experience. And Although it was all those years ago, to this day, um, I still have people come up to me saying, oh, I have a great story to tell you. Um, So, you know, I'm married, I have a child, (laughs) and uh, so I had this this lovely lady who was helping me uh, uh, with my child. You know, it's like the nanny, nurse, housekeeper, whatever. And she was from the Philippines. And so she came in. And all of a sudden, her mouth was like wide open, and then then she didn't say anything, right? So she was lovely. I hired her. She loved my child to death. And then after she was there for a couple of months, then she said to me that I had taught her how to speak English oh, while wow. she was living in the Philippines. Wow. And that just made me feel That's like, amazing. Yeah, yeah. That, that, will fold you, that will fold you up like a rocket. I'm yeah, telling okay. you, it just made me feel so great, and I still have... People, except now, honey, they come up to me and they're bringing their children, and I think they're talking <laughs> about their kids, and they go, "Oh no, it was me! I watched Drago Child. You are old." Yeah. Oh. I don't know about all <laughs> that, but oh my God. I, rem- I remember you on the electric. Oh. Yeah, but how did you follow Lee Chang? I mean, <clears throat> man, that- yeah, 
Yeah, and, and Lee and I uh, are very good friends. As a matter of fact, Lee now is living in France. She, she always had a dream. She lived in France years and years ago, and uh, she's always wanted to go back, and so that's what she did. And she's a very good friend, and uh, I had some big shoes to fill, but uh, well, I was them. told I did okay. Mm-hmm. Definitely. You filled them. You did a good job, though. <laughs> That's well, for sure. Well, you know, being a star on Becca wasn't too sleazy either. You know what well, I mean? It was the best. <clears throat> and I can tell you that we are all still friends to this day. And Ted Danson was nothing or is nothing like Becca. Uh, he is an, really an incredibly generous and kind, uh, kind man. And it was, it was just fun. And can you imagine in this business? To go to work five days a week for six years, and they mm. give you a check. Oh, I know that's right. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and it's NBC. <laughs> <laughs> so it was. Uh, it was truly a joy, and I I've made friends for life. As a matter of fact, um, Alex Desaire, who played Jake, the blind man, on the show, well, Alex comes to my house every year for Thanksgiving. All so, right. uh, we we're still very very good friends. That's Shout good out to Alex. Hey yeah. Alex. So yeah. when when, <laughs> when did you meet the original Shaft? Oh my God, Richard. Yeah. Uh, okay, Richard and I years ago I first started in theater, and I was one of the original members of the Negro Ensemble Company. I don't know if if you are aware of that, but it was uh, one of the it was the first. African American repertory professional repertory company in the United States of America, and it was started by Douglas Turner Ward and Robert Hooks. I don't know if you, uh, Robert Hooks. Yep. White Shadow. Actor. Yeah. So uh, Richard was in a play with me all those years ago down at the Negro Ensemble Company. So we we too have been friends for for years. You know. There aren't that many um, actors in this industry that have been blessed and um, have been able to work all of this ye- all of these years, and so we really try and support each other. And uh, I'm so proud of him. Now he's got a new series, Being Mary Jane. I'm so excited for him. Is he on that? I didn't know he yes. was on that. He plays. He plays uh, uh, Gabrielle's dad. Oh, am I giving it away? Yeah, Oops. that's good. <laughs> that's good. No, give us more juice. <laughs> now, now, Hattie. I'm sorry. Now, no. Hattie, you had your own TV series called A Nurse, right? Yes. On right. CBS in 1981 and 82, right? Well, actually, it was on ABC. ABC. And uh, we shot it in New York, and that was with Michael Leonard and uh, Robert Reed and myself. And uh, it was it was it was pretty good, I must say. Yep. So I've been doing this TV thing for a while. Right. So what was that like? I mean, you came from Mississippi, so you oh, you, you broke you broke the barriers, and basically you helped break down the barriers for African Americans in the field of acting. I guess so. At the time, I didn't think of it as such. I just knew that it was something that I loved doing, and uh, I was very fortunate. I lived in a, uh, I come from a family. They didn't know what the heck I was talking about, but they said, okay, baby, if this is what you want to do, you know, then we support you in doing that. And um, when I left Mississippi, I went to New York. And um, actually, I finished high school in New York, and I was always interested in acting and singing, and um, I started doing it in elementary school, and then I continued in uh, high school, and then I went off to Howard University. And uh, it there were many barriers, but uh, I've always been a fighter. And I, you tell me I can't do something, I say, watch me. I know that's right. <laughs> right. Sounds just like me. Watch me. Yeah. And as a matter of fact, um, Whoopi, uh, Whoopi is a friend of mine, Whoopi Goldberg, and 
she was talking recently, uh, you know, she was promoting, she did, she produced a, a, a documentary on Moms Mabley, and she was saying that I was one of her early influences because I was the first African American that she saw do uh, commercials on TV. And it wasn't until uh, years later when the, my first commercial uh, was actually running and then I had done many others that the, the advertising executives told me that I had actually received death threats um, as a result of doing a commercial for a soap product because I dared to say things like, uh, well, I just took a shower and I bet I'll be cleaner than you are. <laughs> oh, <Lord. laughs> oh, Dixie Rose on that one. Huh? What a horrible thing to say. <laughs> and, uh, there was How some, dare you be clean? Exactly. And there were some people, like in Mississippi and other states, didn't take too kindly to that. And uh, the advertising agency uh, was bombarded with requests to uh, remove the commercial, and I must say to their credit, they did not. And right. um, there were, you know, there were, I've experienced incidents that you wouldn't believe. It's like You was one of the first African Americans to have your own TV show. That's right, that's right. So, uh, and I remember, uh, again, going back to the Negro Ensemble Company, we were representing the United States. Uh, in London at the World Theater Festival, and this was back in the 60s. And we were actually booed in, in very sophisticated um, theater in London. <laughs> <laughs> and the audience started throwing things at us on stage and, uh, and threatening us, calling us the N-word and saying, go, go back home and all of those sorts of things. So uh, wow. it's... There have been some bumps in the road, but uh, it never, never uh, discouraged me from doing what uh, I it, it sounded like it made you a lot stronger. Oh, it did. It did. Because I love it, you know. So. To, I, I love it. You're doing it big still. I mean, you own TV, TV Land with Cedric the Entertainer and uh, Niecy oh, Nash. Right. Well, her lucky son. Oh, you just man. lucky. Yep. All that luck. <clears throat> <laughs> so. I'm, um, you know, and, and I've been very blessed because this is the only job I've ever had. I had one other secretarial job when I first started out, and uh, I couldn't, in those days, you were supposed to be able to type and take stenography. I couldn't do any of that. Mm. Um, but I talked my way into, actually, I acted my way into that job. And uh, as soon as I got a, a job on stage, I left and they were actually uh, quite sad that I was le uh, leaving because I was very honest and uh, forthcoming and saying I will do my very best. Uh, it might take me a little longer to do the job, but I promise you I'll do the job. And that has been sort of my motto, you know, throughout my life. I always try to do my very best. So Right, absolutely, Hattie, absolutely. You, you've done so much. Thank you. One of the things I want to ask you is how can people get in touch with Hattie Winston? Well, uh, they, I'm on Facebook. Uh, they can follow me on Twitter. Uh, they can call you. Uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> they sure can. Put you right, right in the right. loop. <laughs> I like that. That's right. <laughs> That's funny. So I like I'm, that. I'm out there. You know, I'm trying to, trying to stay current. So they really can reach me uh, uh, in the social media. Right, right. So, you know, we got about three minutes left. I want to give you an opportunity to be inducted into the Midnight Hour Hall of Fame. Aww. Uh, so what we do, we started this with Billy Davis Jr. and Marilyn McCool. Are you kidding me? They're <coughs> my friends. Uh -huh. I, just, wow. I, just, I saw them recently. We were at an event together. Oh, my God. You should ask small them, world. <laughs> you should ask them about the time they was on the Midnight Hour radio show. I will. Uh, we have Bill Duke have as well. I mean, uh, not, uh, oh, wait, I have to tell <laughs> you this. Duke. Bill, Bill and I not were Bill recently Duke. honored together out here in Los Angeles as uh, community activists. And we were, the two of us were honored together. Isn't that something? Yeah, that is. Right. Uh, but I, I, I messed up. I said Bill Duke when I meant George Duke. Oh, no. Jo 
Oh, yeah, we yeah, did his last one of his last radio interviews. Oh. And, and you know what's crazy? We never even knew he was sick. He didn't tell anybody. He was so bubbly and yeah. laughed. Yeah. We laughed yeah. the whole time through the interview. Right. Very few people knew <clears throat> that he was ill. He yeah, was you can listen to our interview. You get a chance. But here, we, but getting back to your uh, induction. Mm-hmm. Got 30 seconds to sing, dance, clap, uh, you know, do whatever, spoken word, anything, rap, poet, whatever you want to do in 30 seconds. To give to to all your fans and friends okay. that you never could give before. Okay. And you'll have the key to our show. Okay. Here we go. go. Brown baby, brown baby, when you grow up, I want you to drink from the plenty cup. I want you to stand up. Tall and proud, I want you to speak up clear and loud, my little brown baby. How's that? Yeah, yeah, beautiful. beautiful. Woo! Hattie what? Mae Winston. A singer. You have, she's a singer. Hattie Winston Wheeler. I'm going to call her by our official name. Is that right? Hattie Mae Winston You just got that too. I'm going to represent. She's a singer. I'm going to represent so for her. You can sing. You can sing. She can sing. Oh. She dropped the line on her. So this now, anytime, fun, guys. This has been fun. So, yeah, anytime you call or if you in Cleveland, which we hope that you do be, <laughs> on on in a Saturday night from 10 p.m. to 12 midnight. Because when we here, you can you can walk right into the studio. Uh oh. What and sit with us? Or call in. Or call, call in. in. Have any a movie, show. any TV show, anytime. Don't Anything. be surprised if I do that. Now. All right, uh, we're not okay. gonna be surprised. We looking forward to I'm it. I'm trying to tell you something. <laughs> so much. Yes, absolutely. You know what, Heidi, it's, Thank you. It's been our pleasure. It has been to All have right, some. Now y'all carry on. We're going to do that. I'm going to wait to the midnight hour. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and that's right, Hattie. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Michael J. Calhoun is going to love her, man. I'm telling you, from the, from the last man, he's going to love her. I'm oh, wow. You. Yeah, <laughs> he's, you got to hear him say, oh, man, the midnight hour. <laughs> Thank you so much, Hattie. Thank you, guys. Yeah, we appreciate you. you. We For coming you. on the midnight hour we radio show. We love you, Hattie. <laughs> Woo! Yes. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.